What's up everyone? This is Gus Rios from the band Gruesome and I'm here today to talk to you about the Mighty Obituary. Alongside death, Morbid Angel, I think Obituary are clearly part of the originators of the whole genre, death metal. They basically took over where Celtic Frost left off onto Megatheron. And uh, they took the Tom G. Warrior riffs and grunts, vocal style, and took it to all new level and uh, helped shape death metal into what it is today. Uh, undoubtedly, Obituary are one of the most important death metal bands ever. You know, they made some of the uh, greatest music in death metal history, in, in my opinion. I'd say Obituary is probably the, one of the most influential death metal bands in history and definitely hold a place in uh, a big four, a big five death metal. Uh, first time I ever heard them, I was probably about 13 years old and uh, that was definitely the craziest shit I ever heard at that point in my life. I think it was the first death metal band that I that I listened to as a small, a young metal kid. Obituary is a very unique band mainly because of John Tardy. John Tardy's vocals, no one matches them. They are just so unique. It, he's got this natural knack that it just seems like someone is literally pulling his guts out. The vocals are just so over the top and the riffs are, are so heavy and you know the breakdowns are so heavy. I love John Tardy's vocals. <laughs> I remember buying Soul Rot in 1988. Little kid, record store, you know, the only death metal I had heard at that point was Scream Buddy Gore, and then I hear Slowly We Rot, 88, little kid, I'm like, whoa, this is what it sounds like if a fucking swamp zombie sang in a band. I just, fucking heaviest shit ever, super sludgy and evil and dark and doomy, heaviest shit. In my late teens, I went to a record store, and I was browsing through CDs and vinyl, and up on a wall was a new album by a band called Obituary, and it was Slowly We Rot on vinyl. The band's logo, which see has not changed in years, stood out shrieking at me, and so did the cover artwork. I immediately bought it, sight unseen, just because of the album cover, and I was pleasantly surprised when I first played it to discover that Obituary were the heaviest band I had ever heard in my life. I will never forget hearing the beginning of that. As soon as John's vocals came in. I mean, we just, uh, we couldn't even believe what we were hearing. Like, we, we shit ourselves. If I remember correctly, I mean, I, I fell on the fucking floor, like, in laughter at how heavy it was. It was like, how can it be this fucking heavy? Like, what the fuck am I hearing? My favorite obituary album is Cause of Death. It's a classic death metal album. Um, you know, it may turn some heads, but I think that uh, World Demise is up there with one of their best albums as well. I mean, they took the, the simplicity and the groove um, to the next level. Favorite obituary album, uh, it's definitely Cause of Death. Um, it's just, it's a perfect death metal record. I remember a friend of mine gave me the Frozen in Time album. So the first song that I heard was Redneck Storm. I was just blown away by the groove and the brutality of the band. And after that, I explored all the earlier albums and totally fell in love with them. I heard uh, the Don't Care single from one of my friends on a cassette, a cassette single, and um, I just thought it was immense. I mean, the song was huge. John Tardy's vocals were distinct, to say the very least, uh, blood curdling, uh, just unlike anything else I'd ever heard, you know, just completely alien. If, if somebody were to ask me, yo, Gus, what is Florida death metal? I go, listen to track one from Cause of Death from Obituary. That shit is Florida death metal. It's what it sounds like if a fucking bunch of swamp zombies got together and fucking wrote some sick shit. Um, I mean, there's so many great Obituary songs, and the great thing about Obituary is they're 
you know, just like a band like the Ramones or Motorhead, um, you always know what you're going to get, and um, you love every minute of it. You just want to, just want to head bang. You want to just feel those low end crushing. <sighs> Uh, I remember they did their first tour with Sacred Reich, and the, the promo that I saw for it said Sacred Reich plus special guests, and we're just like, oh, fuck that show. We're in heavier shit like Obituary. <laughs> of course, we didn't know Obituary was playing, and, you know, we heard about it a, a couple weeks later, and we were super devastated. And uh, I finally got to see him the next year on the Cause of Death tour uh, with Sepultura and Sadis, and, um, you know, they, they were the best band on the bill uh, that night. And they are forever one of the best live death metal bands that you'll see. You know, the chemistry that those guys have from playing together for 20 plus years is just unbeatable. And the, the songs are so fucking heavy live. They still release albums after 25 years of existence. They still tour, they still play festivals every year. And they are definitely still relevant. I advise everyone watching this, spin obituary. Spin the old stuff, spin everything over their 10 disc legacy, check them all out and get that new obituary album when it hits. Obituary, the album, the band, one of the greatest death metal bands in the entire world. Uh, obituary has been a band that we have a long history with. We, I've met the guys I think in the end of the 80s um, at the new uh, at the con uh, new music seminar in New York or in LA. I'm not so sure, but um, we've been friends ever since. We've played with them uh, on several festivals in Europe. Um, we even went. Uh, I, I think we once went to John Tardy's house uh, to barbecue. That was also in the 90s when we were recording our album Renewal in Tampa, Florida. Um, We've been friends ever since and um, I'm really looking forward to going on tour with Obituary. It's going to be a lot of fun. Thank you all. Obituary rules. Hopefully we'll be on the road with them this year. The skin is wanting to die. Just the fear.